Let's explore how to solve this cool equilateral triangle problem. An equilateral triangle is placed inside a larger equilateral triangle so that the region between them can be divided into three congruent trapezoids. So we've got the small equilateral triangle and we've got this big equilateral triangle. And the region between them, this one, is divided up into three trapezoids like this. The side length of the inner triangle is two-thirds the side length of the big triangle. What is the ratio of one trapezoid to the area of the inner triangle? So as other problems, let's just say the area of the inner triangle is A. Or, so we can relate all the areas to A. Okay, so the ratio of side length to side length is two-thirds. Aha! We have the small equilateral triangle is similar to the big equilateral triangle. Why? Because all equilateral triangles are similar to each other. They all have three angles that are 60 degrees and three equal sides. So these two equilateral triangles are similar. And notice over here, the side length, let's call it 2x, is two-thirds the entire triangle's 3x side length. It's two-thirds, 2x over 3x. So if the side length is 2x to 3x, what is the ratio of the areas of these triangles? Hmm. Well, for this, we, what all we have to do is see that this inside equilateral triangle to ratio of the big one, well, area ratio is side length ratio squared. So area ratio equals side length ratio squared. So the area ratio between, let's say, blue triangle and red triangle let's do blue over red it's just a side length ratio squared the ratio of the side of this triangle to this triangle is two thirds so it's two thirds and then we square this because it's the area of the triangle it's the area and that's side length squared and this gives four ninths. So the ratio of the area of this triangle to this triangle is four ninths. So now how do we use this? Well, we're trying to find this trapezoid thing here. And notice that it says the problem three congruent trapezoids is a region in between. So these three trapezoids, all three of them, they combine make up this region that's outside the small equilateral triangle, but inside the big equilateral triangle. So if you can maybe find this entire region that's outside the small but inside the big triangle, we can just divide by three to find the area of the trapezoid because there's three congruent trapezoids. So therefore, because the ratio, because the blue triangle makes up four ninths the area of the red triangle, the area in between, well, that will be five ninths. Let's say, the, let's call this green area over here. This green area, the ratio of this green area to the entire red triangle area ratio will just be one minus four ninths, which is five ninths. Because notice that combined, the green region and the blue region make up the entire triangle. So if the ratio of this thing to this thing is four to nine, then the ratio of the green thing over here that will be 5 ninths the area of the entire triangle. So that the total sum, the total sum of the blue triangle ratio to the entire triangle and the green triangles, the green trapezoids to the entire triangle, that sum will be 1. That sum is equal to the area of the entire triangle. So now we know the ratio of, the, of all three trapezoids to the big triangle is 5 ninths. For any one specific trapezoid, we would have that one trapezoid Two entire triangle is one third of that because there's three of them. Five over twenty-seven. So therefore, the if the ratio of the trapezoid to the entire triangle is five over twenty-seven, we, but we're looking for the ratio of the trapezoid to the just the inner triangle, not the entire triangle. So we have this is five over, over twenty-seven. Notice that we also have that the ratio of the 
inner triangle to the entire triangle we found over here is 4 ninths. And now to find the ratio of the area of the one trapezoid to just the inner triangle, notice that we can just divide these quantities together so that the entire triangle term cancels out. So if we do this, we get trap over entire divided by inner triangle over entire triangle is just the ratio we're looking for, trapezoid over inner triangle, which is 5 over 27 over 4 ninths, or 5 over 27 over 12 over 27, which is just 5 twelfths, and that's C. So the key idea for this problem was noticing the similar triangles between the small equilateral and the big equilateral triangle, and then looking at that trapezoid is just one third of the region in, in between. Thanks for watching.